Welcome back to Authentic Tech Reviews. In 2019, we got dozens of really good phones that either stand out in general or excel in one particular category. This is my end of 2019 list of the best phones in general and in every category possible. Now, of course, this is all my opinion, so if you disagree, please let me know in the comments. But without any further ado, let's get started. I might as well start at the top. The top flagship phone in 2019 is, drumroll please, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. On this phone you get a great Samsung screen, amazing build quality, top of the line specs, a great camera, and to top it all off, an S Pen. Of course, this is a super expensive phone, but if you're just looking for the all out best experience you can get, this is the phone for you. The next category is the best phone for photos. Now, before I tell you which phone is in this category, you should know that this isn't the same category as the best phone for videos, because that's a pretty different phone. But the best phone for photos in 2019 is the Xiaomi Mi Note 10. You get this super versatile camera setup with a 108 megapixel sensor. 108 megapixels, that's crazy. You also get two telephoto cameras, and although video quality isn't as great as some other phones, it's still decent. This is definitely the best phone for photos of 2019. The best phone for videos is the Apple iPhone 11 Pro. The three cameras on this phone really come together for just a great video experience with super clear shots that just look better than any other phone on the market. If you want to take lots of videos on your phone, this is the phone for you. We've got several decent gaming phones in 2019, like the Xiaomi Black Shark 2 and the Red Magic 3S, but of course, the best gaming phone of this year is the Asus ROG Phone 2. On this phone, you get the best specs available, a crazy 120Hz display, a huge 6000 mAh battery that also has fast charging, and you also get great speakers, and to top it all off, there's a ton of accessories available for this phone to further improve your gaming experience. If you're a gamer, this is the phone for you. One trend in the smartphone industry in recent years is that phones just keep getting bigger and bigger. Fortunately, Samsung has come in with the best small phone, the Galaxy S10e. On this phone, you basically get an S10 in just a smaller package. You get that great display and build quality, and a headphone jack. You also get pretty good cameras, and this phone is also not too expensive. So overall, if you're looking for a smaller phone this year, I would go for the S10e for overall a great experience. Now, sometimes phones just don't last long enough for that whole day of usage, so if you want great battery life, I would recommend the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro. On this phone, you get exceptional battery life at an amazing price, and you also get decent performance with the Helio G90T, and you also get a decent triple camera setup to top it all off. Overall, if battery life is your number one priority, I would go with the Note 8 Pro. Now, there are lots of great flagship phones available in 2019, but let's say your budget's a bit lower and you want to still get close to that flagship experience. In that case, you want to get the best flagship killer, the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. This phone has incredible specs, a beautiful AMOLED notchless display, a great triple camera setup, and there's also a big custom ROM community surrounding this phone, so you can get basically stock Android if you don't like Mi UI. Overall, this is just a crazy deal for a crazy low price, so if you want a flagship killer, this is the phone for you. Now, I've gone over the best phones in every category, but in my opinion, the top phone of 2019 is the OnePlus 7T. On this phone, you get a super fluid 90Hz display, clean software with three years of software updates, which is more than some other manufacturers like Samsung, you'll just get a super fast experience with the great under display fingerprint sensor, you get a decent camera setup, and you also have the flat screen, so you won't be getting those annoying accidental touches like on some other flagships. And this whole package comes in at only $600 US. That's just crazy. 
Like, I don't understand how this could, how any other phone could possibly be the top phone in 2019. The OnePlus 7T is just a great package at a great price. So those are my top phones of 2019. If you have any comments or questions about this list, please let me know what you think in the comments. This 2019 was overall just a great year for exciting new smartphones, and I expect that 2020 will bring even more new developments with folding phones and crazy bezel-less designs. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing because I really appreciate that. This is Authentic Tech Reviews, and I will see you in the next video.